Hello everybody, welcome back to Aero BB. We've got Squiggy and his shattered undead team versus Chavita and his very TV efficient Camry team. Squiggy has a wizard and bribe and a babe. So only 11 players, including three loners. Um, he's got a nice tackle pommer, he's got a nice white. Uh, nice white, a nice mummy. And, uh, you know, he sacked his crippled ghoul. Uh, he's got three ghouls. Chavita has two full tackle pommers, glorious. They will be trying to get their hands on ghouls. And he's got four lovely uh, tomb guardians. I think one is moving three though, right? Which isn't obviously that lovely, but still. It's still a tomb guardian, so it's still pretty sick. Like three block tomb guardians and one stand firm is it's pretty and the stand firm is the move three one. It's a pretty nasty team. Like, it's very TV efficient. But uh, I was looking at the stats of the league and he, he has not made many cards. And if Kemri don't make cards, they're going to struggle. And he has struggled quite a lot this, this season. Unexpectedly to me, um, with Squiggy you'd expect a drop off from Undead. And then his team got slaughtered in the first game. So Squiggy has really uh, not had much of a chance to shine this season. And yeah, Chavita hasn't had the cars. Hasn't had the hasn't had the look of the dice really, you know. Like uh, against Elliot, he would have he would have drawn a lot of the time. I think it was I think he thirty five out of thirty six, right? I think it was a double one on the last turn. But he, even if it wasn't double one, it's still like you know, these other things happen as well. He got blitzed on versus me, so you know you need you need that rub of the green, don't you, in the big games, especially like in a competitive dis division. As, uh, Pretty bad. So we got the removal there. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice for Chivita. But you know, undead with a wizard. He's got three ghouls. Wizard can be devastating versus Kemri. This isn't super easy for Chivita, but I wouldn't bet. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on Squiggy here. Gonna pom the pom this to me. Nice. Very very exposed, isn't he? No foul. No foul because the DP's killed. Uses this guy very much like a DP rather than a guarder. Now he can at least get followers in to support me. Now. The stranded Tomb Guardian. Mm. Well, I like chaining out the. Uh, didn't get. Oh, I actually would have liked chaining out the uh, ghoul, right? Chain out the ghoul to here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Nail the nail the ghoul with your tackle pommer. I guess he wants to foul the uh, foul the tackle pommer, which it's interesting, right? It's probably not what he'd do if he if it was the knockout stage and he was trying to win the match at all cost. I think he's probably pretty confident of winning the match, <laughs> so wants to foul out the tackle pommer. We could do some damage on the way out, as it were. And, uh, yeah, well, he removes himself. No wizard. I think this could have been this could have been a pretty good wizard here. Looking at it from this point of view, um, you know, you could fireball these three, and you could also just bolt. The bolt isn't so exciting, is it? The the fireball would have been possible, and then you could have had like these four. Well. Kind of four players. Kind of four players to so like make a bunch of dice rolls. Wouldn't have hated it. It could have been like bolted the uh, bolted the guy, and then no, no, you'd have had to bolt the guy. Yeah, no, you probably had to fireball these three and hope for uh, one of these two to go down, or both. So not not a great fireball. 
But the problem the problem is, you know, are you gonna get a good fire or a good bolt? And it's not super likely that you get a super chance. So yeah, and I would have also tried to reinforce this this uh, to me, but he got stranded more. And he's gonna get nailed again. Reroll? Yeah. Ah! Oh! Instant greed reroll, I'm sure. It's looking pretty grim for uh, pretty grim for Squiggy now. Pommer gets pommed. Not an instant reroll. Could have been. Try and dodge this guy off, maybe. Because he can't all kill him because he's got blood. Yeah, just play it straight. Oh, I thought he'd gone there and like scream. In case of a uh, bolt. But he's using this inevitable push to hold. A bit dodgy. Oh, there we go. Huge, huge cars. That's one of the threats gone, isn't it? Like, the only real threat is the wizard and the ghouls. And then one ghoul's over here. Only one ghoul here. Gets the dodge off. Looking very good for Chivita. I think the, uh... Might have just dodged away that ghoul. Like, do do the mummy hit first, then dodge away the ghoul. Try to get him. It's hard, though, right? Down so many players already. It's, uh... <laughs> Glorious MC crew. Yep. Uh, well, now, now, the, uh... Funnily enough, I mean, congratulations, first of all, and uh, now we've got the uh, Blood Bowl 3 replay, haven't we? Oh, wow, look at that. So, I can actually do Blood Bowl 3 replays. Two more. So, you're in the... You're in the quarters. I could, I could cast the semis even, honestly. I'll cast the semis if you get there. How does that sound? How does that sound? I'll cast the semis if you get there. It's content in it. <laughs> no pressure. Maybe not. That's not a promise. I'll have, a, I'll have to have a look. <laughs> I could do a replay anyway. Couldn't I? I could do a replay anyway, even if like, even if you're losing this anyway. Oh. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm pretty hyped about the replays for Blood Bowl Three, honestly. Like that's that's pretty. I would have been happy about this uh, this patch if it was just the replays and stuff. Do the quarters now? I can't I can't go as low as the quarters. I think semis is just three games. That's like that's acceptable, isn't it? Oh yeah, chaos can be a pretty bad matchup. Right, somehow there's two dice on the ball. Don't really know how that happened. But it hasn't taken a wizard. And there was just two dice on the ball. Right. That's bizarre, isn't it? Two Guardian got cast. <laughs> <laughs> should I should I go back? I mean, maybe I should try and do my job properly. Okay, let's go back to here. Kemri misclicks the skull. Did a 1D power on this guy. And Kaz did. <laughs> that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good play, isn't it? 1D power into Kaz. Lovely. Regen fail. And yeah, so this was the Kemri's at the start of turn four. Mm. 
this guy not having guard really sucks, doesn't he? If you had guard, you could jam him in there and then tap him down the door. Oh yeah, misclicked on the skull. Oh, disaster! Absolute disaster! I tell you what, though, even even if even if he hadn't misclicked that. And you know, he was only gonna get punished one in twelve nine six times. He had to have a plan here, right? He had to have a plan here, and the plan is probably blitzing this guy. So either you stand him up and blitz with him, or you assist with him and blitz with him. So you probably should have moved one of them in first, right? Even if it was a one in twelve nine six. You know, which it which you know, okay, you misclick. But even if you take out the possibility of misclicking and being prepared to use your reroll. Even if it's a one in twelve nine six, there you know that this blitz is happening. You know you 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 know which one of them is going to make it. Like you know the pros and cons either way, right? Stand up this guy for the assist or, or bring in the assist. But either way, you know that is the turn ordering there, isn't it? The turn ordering should have been made correctly. Um, though of course you can't you can't legislate for the uh, for the misclicks. They're just going to happen sometimes. Unfortunate because it's not like a it's not a blood bowl mistake, is it? It's just a uh, it's just a blood bowl two mistake. But, well, I mean that skull is just devastating, isn't it? I mean he essentially rolled quads. He misclicked into rolling quads basically. I'm choosing to hold the wizard. It's interesting, isn't it? It's an interesting thing there choosing to hold the wizard there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's an argument just for using the wizard there as well, right? Just to really, just to really make sure of it. Uh, I will. I will continue to say this forever. I remember playing. Um, I remember playing somebody. I don't remember who it was, but I was playing somebody in Chalice, and he had orcs, big orc team, and uh, I had high elves. And I had a really good chance of sacking the ball without the wizard, so I saved the wizard. And then I failed to sack the ball. And then I lost. And if I'd just used the wizard as well, I'd have made sure of it and won, right? And I just think you've, you've got to not be scared of using your wizard. Get it in there, you know. Maximise your chances when you get them, I think. People are too... People tend to be too greedy. Um... You know, choosing the wizard, like, the wizard isn't that impactful now, but it doesn't matter how impactful it is if it if it wins you the game, right? If it if it changes you from a seventy to a ninety, that's still really good, isn't it? Rather than saving it and then if this thing doesn't work out, then it might increase your odds later. Just whack it in now and uh, make sure. Well, it looks like he might have got away with that misclick semi quad skulls. It's not easy though to get forward now. He's, he's suddenly lost a lot of players himself. Down three, down three. So yeah, eight, eight aside. Oh, that's a tomb guardian. I thought, I thought that was a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this isn't looking very good. <laughs> okay, it's actually looking pretty decent. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be looking very good if that was a mummy, though, would it? The problem here is is this guy not having guard, so he blitzes with him to get to get him in. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Whoa. Gets rid of that mummy. Gets the assist for this. Huge block gets the pow. Doesn't have to think about whether he'd pile on or not because he gets the Kaz. So now, <laughs> now Squiggy's down to only one ghoul left, and all of a sudden, look, I bet he's wishing he'd use the wizard because uh, this is just back to being horrendous again. But you know, I think that's a kind of a common, a common. I'm still reluctant to call it a mistake, but it's a common thing that I think people do. Where, like, I, you know, as I say, I'm guilty of it myself in Chalice. And that made me think. That made me think. Wow. I nearly lost him as well. You've got to foul him, haven't you? Yeah, but, but I guess he's uh, he's taken two cars. Well, the cars send off. I 
It's a re real tempting to foul him with him not having regen or anything. I guess no one to foul, it'd only be the guards coming to him. Maybe that helps him in a way. I don't I don't like this. I guess he's gonna blitz the moon. Cause he could he could have pummed that skeleton, couldn't he? Could have assisted with the uh could have assisted with the Tomb Guardian and blitzed with the uh Pum. Or or blitz the mummy just for huge value. Oh the bolt! He did a bolt! Oh my god, cast him! <laughs> well I was not expecting that. He's not even dodging away. Just a just a big fuck fuck you lightning bolt. <laughs> Glorious. What was the cast? Just a badly hurt. So seventy five percent pick up. Oh no, and a GFI has gotta do. Oh man, 4 2 to score. Oh, well, there you go. Definitely the wrong decision of Lightning Bolt there. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like a brilliant decision for a second. <laughs> and I was about to say, look how wrong I was. He was very glad he saved his wizard. <laughs> but um, nope, they, he rolls the 4 2. Calcium says, uh-uh. <laughs> Movement eight. Any chance of a one turn? Seven players? Not really. Seven players? Oh my god. <laughs> Seven versus ten. Flip me. But again, you know, uh, Squiggy topped the top division last season, so he can feel good about that, can't he? Beat Elliot in a league, very impressive. PPD, move near the side, lovely. But yeah, getting your whole team killed on game one is <laughs> is pretty sucky. Glorious frustration reroll. That's the regen cast. A sliver of SPP, maybe? Classic blood ball. No, oh, it gets his kills back. So that, that makes the second half of the game, maybe. At least he's got nine. Nine versus ten. There's a chance of it being a game. Seven would have been a massacre. Is that is that what Chavita does, and that's why he, that's why he did that misclick. That's, that's I mean that's a brutal misclick, isn't it? But he got over it anyway, didn't he? Scored scored one nil. The uh, the 
The bribe has not been used, but the uh, wizard has. Oh my god, he failed both with a babe as well. <laughs> this is the problem with taking bribes, you know. It's like well, you've kind of got to be up a little bit to use them. But I guess now he will be on his own drive. Maybe he's on his own drive. The, uh, the bribe will come into play. Touchback. I hate, uh, hate putting this hit on him, right? He's got wrestle. You need to be maximizing your chance of your uh, comma getting knocked out. And this blockless guy could have been the one. Oh no, he's blitzing with him, okay. But if he hadn't blitzed with him, one of the blockless guys could have been hitting the, uh, the wrestler. So this this foul kind of sucks, right? Because it, you're fouling like a, an unskilled skeleton. But with a bribe and dirty player, and having to get like the snowball going, I think it's a very good foul to try. Oh, the old elf stall. We've seen Squeaky do this a few times. I really don't like random tags like this. Like if it if it's a two turn or something, then fair enough, right? But like it's turn on turn one of a half. I don't really like it. I don't feel like it's giving you you know enough. I don't think the positional control like it's give it's giving some positional control, right? Like it's pinning this guy into one of two squares. So it's doing something, but it's like, I feel like it's doing so little for you that it's not worth doing. Like not worth giving up the hit. Thing. Well. Wow. The old greed reroll. The, the strength 6 dude is, is the only way he's going to get a hit Tomb Guardians and stuff, isn't it? So... I'm pretty... He's in a lot of trouble still. Oh. Oh dear. On this guy and send some people forward. Another Kaz. Oh lord. Oh lord. It's interesting actually because like you really want to pawn, like you've got to pawn this guy. So this kind of is the right play. Probably don't fall alright to keep the uh, to keep this guy contained. Probably don't follow up to keep him on, but uh, it would obviously be better to hit both of these, but then you wouldn't be able to make this blitz, but you've got to make this blitz, like you just have to. It's the, it's the law. Making this blitz was the absolute law. Oh, I do use the reroll. Do you want to reinforce this a little bit? You don't want this guy just on here like this. I, I do think not following is better. Gets the tackle there. Alright, well we have a potato opportunity. We have a potato opportunity. There is a weak link. There is a weak link. He doesn't even need a blitz with me, he can just yeah, but then he can hit you maybe. Oh no, you can pin him with him. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful course. He's not even going to dodge, he's just going to block. 
Oh, wrestle, <laughs> wrestle sunshine. That's why you didn't want your tackle bomber on the wrestler. <laughs> oh, the dodge is done. Okay, well, it's GG. Nice tough look. Say it's over. Say it's over. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't speak like any. I'm no. I'm no Hellboy. I know that doesn't need to be said, but still. <laughs> it is, isn't it, Ransomus? It is. And it's like, I know it's like technically worse, you know, and it's like blurrier and stuff, and it. It does look old fashioned. I mean, partly because, you know, you've played it for eight years and stuff. But, but like, it is old. It is old. It looks old fashioned. But it's just so much better. It's just so much cleaner and better. It's ridiculous. Mm, not, not there. It's not one there. Oh, because you're going to blitz him as well. Okay, so you're going to blitz him back. Mm, blitz him to here, I guess. Nope. Oh, wow. Maybe you should have blitzed them forward, right? Blitzed them up to here. And then if he dodges away, one, two. Let's have a look. Don't know how much movement he had left either. He's about here. One, two, three, four, five. And then he could have gone here. Pushed him to here and stood here it was probably better, right? Now he's got a one, two, three, four, five, six. Like long bomb or something. Whereas. Probably would have been better to put him there in a minute. But then I guess he's got a five, four. And a five, four is probably. A 5-3, sorry, maybe the 5-3 is... Maybe this is better, and then only leave him the way out. Because he's got no one to pass it to anyway, has he? <laughs> he's actually got nobody to pass it to right now anyway. So maybe stopping the 5-3 the was better than letting him out the back. Pass to this guy. Five plus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and now, Chavita is out of rerolls and in a lot of trouble. How quickly the tables have turned. I do wonder about that because you know if you just give you just give him a five three one two three four five six then he can just in five three two to hand it off. It does make this hit because he could have only one beat him anyway. So by blitzing with him, he gets to tag him. Yeah, I quite like that. You hit the you hit the go and get the tag. I mean, he's actually been moving very well now, isn't he? So, I love the, I love the Tomb Guardian safety. <laughs> Maybe should have double GFI'd. Maybe should have moved him last and double GFI'd, right? Because he can just dodge him potato. Blitz with a mummy to keep these two in. And then potato away. What a wild play. I mean, it's easy to kind of leave it on man, because it's, it's a white-to-white -white play. It's, uh, it's not what you'd expect to work. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not going to. It does. Skeleton can't reach. Tomb Guardian can't reach. But if he'd been here, could have done. Yeah, I, don't, I think there's been one region worked out of like. Oh, well, these haven't got region. So, one region out of four. Which isn't that crazy, right? Two out of four is. Yeah, maybe he really should have gone last and double GFM. Maybe he did double GFR. No, he couldn't have done because he moved him early. That's the 
come in, gets the 1D. 1D. Like, I guess this is safer to stop the stall, isn't it? This this stops the stall. So, actually, yeah, maybe it was right to not GFI here. Because this is doing a great job of stopping the stall now, because now he has to go in on turn 14. Whereas if he'd fail one of those GFIs, he wouldn't have to stop score. Right? And he had no rerolls, so maybe he just thought, go for the uh, go for the super conservative play to uh, attempt to stop the uh, stall, and then maybe you've got a chance to quick score. But then you can reach. You haven't got much chance to quick score, have you? So I really would have favoured. Oh, I really would have favoured the GFI. But Javit is probably more confident of his chances at three turning with Camry than I would be with mine because, you know, that's the way it works, isn't it? Jimmy Fantastic, who played 5,000 games of Camry, would be better at Camry than Jimmy Fantastic, who's played five games of Camry. <laughs> And that's one of the things I noticed with Cruz. Cruz was like not only very good with uh, Chorf one to Chorf two turns. He was also like very confident with the Chorf two turns. So you know, was, I'm I don't really like scoring two turns with Dark Elves. Whereas <laughs> he had done so many Chorf two turns that he was he was excellent at them. Well, still will be. There's nobody I'd bank on more than Cruz to score a two-turn with Chorfs. Ah, that's, that's not true, Red Hair. That's your simplistic... Your simplistic take. But it's not really the correct one. People love to say there's no brains involved in claw bomb teams, but there is. And a lot of it's still playing Blood Bowl. Not sure he needed this extra hit. <laughs> Not just because it's a dub score, <laughs> but just like, you know, for using the men to get downfield to score. Maybe he'd already given up on scoring, honestly. Maybe he'd already given up on scoring. <laughs> I mean, they do, right? Just as much as any other team. It's not like... It really isn't. Like, they're really not that bad. They're really not that brainless. People love to say they're brainless and stuff, but... Well, here we go. We've got a... We've got a Gao. Just gets it. Oh my god, zombie dodge. <gasps> Double GFI tag! Oh, do you re-roll? Yes, he's got two. Oh, he fails the loner. Yeah, I, I love that. I, lo I love I love using the reroll. I mean, obviously you've got to anyway because you've only got two. But I, I, I would have maybe thought, oh my god, using the last reroll. Did he think that was a two or was he just doing it anyway? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Was he trying to 1D and then double GFI to get 2D? Is that is that better? Three twos is about fifty percent to fail, isn't it? Three twos is about fifty percent to fail, but then you're getting a whole extra dice, getting the knockdown. I don't know if it's correct or not, but obviously in this situation something is correct, right? Very rare, very rare in Blood Bowl that something is correct, but there was obviously the highest percentage play to knock down the ball on that turn and I don't know if it was the 1D or the, or the chance of the 2D. Obviously the chance of the 2D maybe gets SPP on your Tomb Guardian as well. But also might get your Tomb Guardian killed. <laughs> so I guess that weighs in a little bit, but that's unbelievable, isn't it? That is actually unbelievable. That went from Chavite having the 2-0 wrapped up. <laughs> Absolutely wrapped up to a white to white play <laughs> to uh to then just a random 
No rerolls left. Roll shit dice. One ghoul left. I don't really know how it happened, honestly. I think... Like, to be fair... I'd, I'd hear the follow-up. I'd hear the follow-up that, that took... Because, you know, like, the follow-up... Yeah, he, he was marking two players, but he was marking, like, a skeleton and a zombie. Whereas if he hadn't followed up, he'd have been marking the white, which would have made things harder. Like, he, you know, Squiggy just didn't have many Ash 3 players, right? So keep them locked down. I didn't like that, but... You know, it doesn't matter that much. Like, it was still super low odds. And it, and even thinking about what he could have done to contain that that white, like, he didn't want to leave the 5 plus 3 plus dodge on. Because then that would have led to a handoff, which is just the same as letting him around the back, so... It was just, just one of those things, wasn't it? It's just one of those things, I guess. The dice the dice just worked out, maybe. And I don't think Chivite was, like, really greeting anything. I think Squiggy was, you know, correctly greeting things because it, his team was behind and... He kind of had to make greed re-rolls, and uh, so I don't think Javita wasted his re-rolls. Just, just one of those games. Unbelievable, unbelievable! What a, uh, <laughs> what an outrageous result! <laughs> it's. Uh, can we see what the block dice are like? Sixteen. Not even crazy either. Not even crazy block dice. Just, uh, just roll them at the wrong time and like together. And there you go, critical, critical fails, critical successes for Squiggy. Yeah, um, but what a turnaround! Like it looked two nil. Like I said, it was. I meant it when I said it was over. It looked like it was going to be two nil for Chavita, and then somehow Squiggy rolled all the dice and uh, <laughs> and got the result. Amazing for him. Uh, congrats to him. Commiserations to Chavita. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.